Right, let's head over to see Chef Mark and get some more details on the recipe for this morning. We're finished with soup week. It's a brand new week. Mark, what are we going to do today that yeah. looks good? Well, we've got noodles today, so mushroom black garlic noodles. So really simple. Mm. Got a nice selection of mushrooms here, like a nice fresh mix here, some dried ones as well to give us an extra punch of flavour. And we've got this. What got is a that? unique ingredient, black garlic. Black garlic. Mm. Okay, so is it all black or is it just black on the outside? No, no, it's jet black all the way wow. through. But smell it. And it is a completely well, okay, yes, different is. taste to normal garlic. That smells really good. It is, it's really <laughs> it's good. It's, it's, it's a bit like sort of tamarind. <laughs> oh, 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 shoot, getting excited here. <laughs> <laughs> or like sort of balsamic. It's yeah. sort of that sort of sharp and sweet and tangy. And oh, it's fantastic. It's great. And it works really well with mushrooms. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, tell us about today's recipe as we're using something quite unique. This is black garlic. So I was going to say, what's the difference? I can tell the difference is black. <laughs> it's but, black. <laughs> yeah, so tell us a bit more about it. So basically, it's been aged so about three weeks and it's sort mm -hmm. of left out so it sort of ferments and turns black but in that process it goes really sweet mm. sweet and rich and, and treacly and, and and tangy and and it just creates this like amazing flavor which is completely different to normal garlic and you can use it you can use it different as well yeah, and you can great. even um, you know I've even dipped this in chocolate you should try that it's okay. really good. it sounds absolutely like uh, bonkers but it's almost like a raisin you know you get that really sort of concentrated sweetness there well, instead of a scorched almond you've got some scorched garlic yeah. There you go. Nice. Always try something once. That's right. I will give that a go. Okay, so we're All underway. Right. What do we need to do? All right, so I've got some dried mushrooms in this recipe. So I've yes. got some shiitakes there. Well, yep. a whole selection of mixed mushrooms. Nice. So dried mushrooms, get them in a bowl, heat-proof bowl, get some uh, really hot water from the kettle or boil some up, and just uh, you know put a splash of water in there, and we're just going to rehydrate them. So that's going to okay. soften them. And then all the flavour is going to go into that water, and you can use that water in your um, in the uh, stir fry if you want, or you can save that water, freeze it, or you, you know you can use that. Can so you don't use throw that away. Fresh mushrooms if you want to. Yeah, yeah, and we've got cool. fresh we've got fresh mushrooms here, so I've got a nice selection, uh, some fungi in there, some shiitake, some oyster mushrooms. So we're going to stir fry them. So we're going to get two different textures from our mushrooms. That's right. Well, I've got some more uh, boiling salted water on there, and yep. we're just going to cook some egg noodles. So we'll get those cooking now. Whilst they're cooking, we'll get everything else ready. We're going to stir fry. Noodles will be ready. They go in. So it's a really, really fast dish. Really fast. Okay. Right. Uh, so a little bit of flavour in there, which works well with uh, Asian cooking and uh, especially mushrooms as well. Szechuan pepper. Oh yes, yes. So we, we used that about well two three weeks ago, didn't we? we? Did. And it was um, so you get this really sort of tangy, sort of spicy. Yeah, that's spicy. That's right. Mouth numbing. Tingly. Uh, it's tingly. Quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good and it works really well as well. So just you know get that, crush it up a little bit, mm -hmm. and that's going to work really well. Nice work. All right, so we got that. So I'm going to pop that in. So I'm going to make a sauce. Uh, or a little bit of a dressing sauce slash sauce, which we're when we stir fry, we're going to pop in. Okay. Uh, so I've got this little splash of water in here just to loosen out the uh, soy. Um, Szechuan pepper goes in there. Soy sauce. Yep. In there. Sugar. A little bit of sugar, just to balance it, and we'll just whisk all that up. And then just all you want to do is just dissolve that sugar, mm. and that is ready to go. So once yeah. we stir fry, we'll pop that in. So the reason why you put the water in is when you put the soy in, you know, it's going it's to be really hot. It's going to reduce down and get really salty. Okay. So you're just sort of countering that. Okay, sounds good. Right, black garlic. So well, yeah, I want to see inside it too, so it's just pure black. So oh, yeah, try that. It is. Okay, So cool. you taste it. Yeah, oh, hang on, give me a bit. Oh, gosh, sorry. Sorry. So sure. It's really soft as well, so you can just sort of slice it up or chop it up, or, and then as you mm. cook it, you know, it'll sort of crush and disperse through the whole sort of noodles. But just amazing flavour, isn't it? And it it's is. not it's sweet and sour all at the same time. Yeah, it's a, almost like sort of tamarind a little bit. Yes, yeah, so it not, um, melts in your mouth. It's yeah, beautiful. but not, not garlicky at all. No, like that. So this is really good. So, you know, you can afford to put, um, you know, a good amount in there, you know. Is it hard but, to find? No, you can get it in supermarkets now. So oh, this, is, this comes from Marlborough, so this is grown in uh, New Zealand. Jeez, we're getting flash now, aren't we? Yeah, but it's Black great, garlic. It? Yeah, I know. So, it's on trend at the moment, on as, trend. as they say. Right up with the play. <laughs> yeah. Good work, Mark. So a little bit of spring onion. So I've cut the spring onion in half. I've got mm -hmm. the green, which I'm going to slice after it and just uh, garnish the uh, stir fry with, you know, so it stays nice and green. Uh, the white part of the onion, I'm just going to slice it up and then we're just going to stir fry that when we do our mushrooms. And I've got a little bit of chilli as well. So I've got a little bit of green chilli today. Uh, we're just going to do some nice slices, um, you know, little discs and we'll stir fry that after. So. Again, with all these recipes, really fast, but you need mm. to get all your preparation work done first. So okay. everything chopped, noodles cooking, 
uh, and then your sauce is ready and then heat the wok up so we've got the wok heating up yeah it's and heating then, up. yeah when we come back we'll just uh, we'll just stir, stir fry in real time and uh, nice. get to taste some tasty noodles brilliant welcome back we're in the Biko kitchen and uh, you may be looking on the chopping board and thinking is that licorice on the board <laughs> no it is not licorice it is actually black garlic and this is going to go beautiful with our mushroom black garlic noodles we are making here today so where are we at mark right so noodles are cooking so that's all good to go. I've got a wok here, really nice and warm, hot wok. Little bit of oil in there. Yep. Let the oil get hot as well, because okay. you're going to stir fry mushrooms. So the key to cooking mushrooms is you need a hot pan or wok. Okay. Okay, so we've got fresh mushrooms here. We've got these uh, rehydrated dried mushrooms. So you can just take them out, squeeze the water out, and then, you know, just run your knife through them. You don't need to chop them too fine. You want right. that nice sort of texture in there, so that's great. Nice. There's our wok hot. Ah. Oh. It's hot, there I can hear it. Goes, there you go, and that's what you cool. want to that's what you want to hear. Right, so mushrooms go in there. Move them really hot, fast. yeah. Keep yep. moving them around. Hey, and good luck for tonight. To Metro Awards tonight. Yeah, yeah, we've got you're, yeah. Up, you're up, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we've got in the top fifty, so Connell Street. So nice. uh, yeah, big night tonight. Oh, yes, Fingers sweet. crossed. Oh well, it might be a disastrous show tomorrow morning. Yeah, it we'll might be late tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best of luck for that. Thank you. Doesn't matter whether you win or lose, it's about being nominated. <laughs> well, it is, but it's great winning, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, right, so mushrooms, so they go in, so it's going to be really, really fast, right? So that's about sort of 30 seconds to a minute. Yep. I'm going to pop the chilli in now, so keep stir frying okay, it. Okay, cool. Uh, spring onion tops, uh, whites go in there as well. Mm -hmm. So keep cooking, keep cooking. Keep cooking, keep cooking. And then garlic goes in oh, there as well. Yeah. Right, so you can keep stirring that around. And okay. because that garlic's really soft, it's sort of going to break up a little bit and Brilliant. it's going to sort of disperse through your mushrooms, which is what we want. Oh, it smells pop, good. Pop your other mushrooms in now. It smell them very good, Chef. That's it, and it's so simple. And it's just, it's one of those ingredients which is just like, you know, a high impact of flavour. You know, and, you, and you, you don't even need to use that much, really. It's really good, and it's so versatile as well. You know, savoury, desserts, soups, mm. stir fries, Asian cuisine, oh, French cuisine, anything. You know, it works incredible. really well. So this is fancy pants noodles, really, isn't it? There's no, a lot of people it's, it's, growing it's, up on noodles, you know. <laughs> You, you, you chuck no, in your black garlic and away you go. Well, we, we never had pop noodles with black garlic in, I tell you. Really? Maybe, no, no. Maybe that's, a new, that's an English thing. It could thing, be, yeah. it could <laughs> Maybe be a new thing. thing. Um, but this is a, it, it actually features quite well, in, or quite a lot in Asian cuisine, actually, black garlic. So, literally not, not long, you've got your sauce in there. Woo! So you can sort of take that off the heat now because of that extra, all that heat in the pan, it's just sort of reducing it around. Yep. Got our noodles. Looking good. Try not to make a real mess of this now. Noodles go in, right, toss that around. Okay. And then got a little bit of coriander, just roughly chopped. And remember the green part of the spring onion? Just roughly chop that as well, so you get a nice, nice fresh green colour. That goes in there, beautiful. Oh, mate, this is looking sensational. And just to finish it, there's a little bit of sesame oil. Gives that nice flavour and a bit more texture as well. Some sesame, sesame seeds, seeds around. Yum. There you go. Oh, like yes. Oh, it smells incredible. Can't wait to eat it. Nice work and good luck uh, for tonight. Mm. Okay, Mark, it smells amazing in the studio. How have your noodles turned out? Oh, absolutely fantastic. Look at these. Look at oh, all the flavour. Really? You can smell that as well and that garlic and the mushrooms. It's just absolutely amazing. I can hear everyone in the control room going, ooh, that looks good. That's it. I'm just trying to make it look pretty on the plate. Make sure you get your mushrooms on there. Oh, yum. Look at that. Oh, that is a good better, better. serving just for me. Oh, I know, yeah. I better put it all on. You're pretty hungry, you too. Yeah, I am starving. <laughs> look at that. That. Oh, quick, easy, tasty noodles. Yum, oh, that's delicious. Best wow. noodles ever.